Los Migos and everybody else is Saturday. Do you know what that means? That means that every Saturday is going to be a discussion vlog. So, I'm going to discuss. Today I wanted to talk about bullying. With bullying, there's a lot that's being done to try and prevent it, to try and help kids and stuff, but sometimes it's not enough. I think more still needs to be done. But, I mean, I'm just one person. I can't do anything. Maybe I can. I don't know. When I was a kid, I was <laughs> bullied mercilessly. I mean, even my own family bullied me. And it was horrible. I hated my life. I hated everything. I hated going to school. I always asked my mom if I could stay home because I was sick. I didn't want to go. But she made me go anyway. She knew I was faking. But she didn't know why I didn't want to go. I didn't tell my parents I was being bullied, I was being picked on because I didn't want them to freak out. I didn't want them to go to school and cause trouble, so I sat there and I suffered in silence for, I think, about 10, 11 years. And it just, it kept getting worse, it kept getting worse. I mean, being the weird fat kid didn't really help anything. I wasn't like any of my classmates. I didn't like the same I didn't like the same things they did. I didn't do the same things they did. I wasn't into sports. I wasn't into the hot topics. I, I was my own soul. And I got bullied for it. But eventually I started finding things that I liked. I found music. I was in music my whole life, ever since we first started in kindergarten, or first grade, one of those. I was in music class every day. I loved it. I loved singing, I loved playing instruments, I, I love everything. And it made things not so bad. Things were still shitty, but I mean, music was my way to express what I was feeling. It helped get my mind off of things. and my life. I think to get over like the depression and an anxiety of bullying, you need to find something that you love to do that just makes you happy and you do it every day or whenever you can. You can't just sit there and be sad and pitiful about it. You gotta do something to make a difference. I did. And now I'm not exactly happy, I still have things going on, but I'm in a way better place than I was. I don't want to kill myself anymore, I don't want things to end. I want to know what life has. I want to know what experiences there are, I want to know what the future has for me. And I think everybody needs to feel that way. People don't deserve to feel like everything is crashing around them, that they're worthless. Nobody needs that. And bullying just tears people down. It makes you feel ugly and like just disgusted and it's horrible. I hated it. I don't bully people because I don't want someone to feel like they want to kill themselves because of something I said. I felt like that constantly and people knew it. They threw it in my face. It never got better up until I started doing things I loved. I started making friends, and I started being funny. <laughs> I mean, for a person who is depressed all the time, humor just made everything better. I became like this hilarious person, people tell me, and people started liking me a little bit better. I mean, I'm still unattractive and fat, but... My humor and my personality make people like me sometimes. If you're being bullied, just find something that you love to do. Whether it's music, acting, art, sports, anything. Anything can be something you love if you let it. You can't just sit there in sadness. It doesn't work. It doesn't go well. I see people do that all the time and I wish I could help them, but I can't. I just hope that somebody 
listens to what I'm saying, and hopefully they make a change if they're being bullied. Sometimes fighting back doesn't always work. I tried and <laughs> no, <laughs> didn't go well. I use humor and laughter and everything to make people around me smile, and that makes me happy because I love knowing that I'm not tearing someone down, but I'm making them happy. And I think maybe that's something I'm meant to do in this life. Maybe I'm supposed to make people laugh. Maybe I'm supposed to make music or something. I don't know. I haven't found that out yet. But maybe in some odd years I will. All I can really say is don't give up. Don't kill yourself. <laughs> don't don't end your life because that makes people who actually do love you die a little on the inside. Someone is going to miss you. You may not think it, but someone will. And I know that every few seconds someone commits suicide because of bullying and that makes me sad. It honestly does. It's, it's not a way out. It may seem like it is, but it's not. So, <laughs> that was my little serious discussion. And if I get closer with you guys, I'll go deeper into it, but I'll tell you my story maybe if you want to know. And I'll tell you exactly how I combated the bullying, the suicidal thoughts and everything. Because I want people to know that it does get better. It honestly does. It may not seem like it at the time, but you just gotta wait, you gotta hold out, and you gotta make things happen. You can't just expect things to fall out of the sky and just start working. It doesn't work like that. You gotta try and work at it. Don't let others put you down. Don't listen to what they're saying don't let them get in your head because that's giving them power and you don't want to give them power over your life because it shouldn't be like that you should be the only person who can tell you anything about yourself who can say I am me I am myself and if you don't like it that's cool you don't need to be my friend we don't need to talk that's fine I don't need someone like you in my life sorry I got back off track Next Saturday, I'll have more topics and stuff to talk to you. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for right now. Um, this isn't my typical daily vlog. This is just... On Saturdays, I'm not going to have a discussion vlog and a regular vlog because that's not going to work out for me. I'm not going to put a whole lot on my plate this early. And at this time, that is what I'm not going to do. So I hope you are hearing what I'm saying. I hope you think about it. And I love you guys. I may not seem like it sometimes, but I do. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Farewell, Lesmigos and everybody else. <laughs>